Welcome. In this module, we're going to talk about Cybersecurity Maturity Matrix CSMM Layer 3. And this layer is called the Hardened Layer. Let's take a look. Now, this is a view of the overall Cybersecurity Maturity Matrix. As discussed, this is a proactive, sequential, and structured model so that security is implemented in an effective and in a categorized and consistent manner. And we're going to take a look at layer three, the hardened, hardened layer. So these are the controls at layer three. Minimum monthly credential based VM cycle. Now we're moved from quarterly to monthly. CIS security benchmarks hardening of all IT assets. And the third control is next generation firewall at data center entry point with filtering. And the fourth control is software security hardening program. Let's take a look in more detail. So the first control, 3.1, Minimum Monthly Credential-Based Vulnerability Management Scan. We've talked about credential and non-credential-based scanning, and credential-based scanning allows the deeper level of scanning and, and gives you the proper results. So we should always try to do the credential-based scan. But now we're moving from quarterly, which was in the previous layer, now in this layer, in layer three, we're moving to monthly. So uh, slowly, we're getting more and more mature, and eventually we're going to move to weekly scanning. So now we've moved to monthly scan from quarterly scan and credential-based scan uh, should definitely be done um, because that always gives you the best results. So the CIS benchmarks uh, 3.2, the CIS benchmarks hardening of all the IT assets needs to be conducted at this layer. And this is a huge effort uh, depending on the size of the organization and the variety of IT assets. All the IT assets need to be hardened and there's about 250 uh, different security benchmarks for CIS, Center of Internet Security, which are available free of cost on the internet. And also, uh, DISA, the Department of Defense uh, Security STIGs, have about, 200, uh, have about 400 different security STIGs available for hardening of IT assets. And you can download these free of cost as well. Is hardening has been covered in detail in this course, in a full chapter. Um, the planning, pilot production implementation usually takes six to eight months. Uh, depending upon the size of the organization. And this is a huge effort. And this is, a, this is, in fact, security hardening is the first layer of the security transformation model, which we had talked about earlier. The third control is next generation firewall at data center entry point with filtering. So previously, um, if you remember in layer one, we had talked about a uh, firewall at the perimeter and, and a simple firewall. In layer two, we had talked about a firewall uh, which is uh, going to be a next generation firewall at the perimeter. Now we're talking about in the third layer, a next generation firewall at the data center entry point, uh, protecting all the traffic which is coming in and going out of the data center. So filtering and malware protection at the data center entry point is often ignored. And usually we have one at the edge and we looked at this uh, in an earlier chapter. It, there's usually a firewall, next generation firewall at the edge, but the user traffic which is coming in, all the users, they can, they can directly access the data center without going through, the, obviously, the uh, perimeter firewall. This means that the traffic going into the data center from the users is not filtered and is not protected uh, with malware protection. And all the traffic, including internal user traffic or the traffic coming from outside the external traffic, entering or exiting the data center needs to be filtered, and this is very important. The fourth control is software security hardening program. So we've talked about hardening. Um, in the chapter in which we talked about security hardening, um, we've talked about security hardening of the IT infrastructure, the data center servers, the routers, the switches, Wi-Fi access points, databases, all of that. But then the software that has been developed either externally by a third party or internally by the organization also needs to be secured. And that is done through a software security hardening program. So the software security program needs to be developed um, and the software security hardening consists of control identification, pilot control implementation, validation, testing, either through manual or automated mechanisms, change management, and finally moving it to production. And we talked in detail about the software security hardening uh, program or the software security program in detail in an earlier chapter. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.